Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mobile Iron's Partner Solutions Series. I'm James Pluff, a solutions architect with Mobile Iron, and I'm here today with Jack Zaris, who is a product manager at Mobile Iron. So, as enterprises have made the transition from legacy computing to mobile, we at Mobile Iron have been focusing on making mobile devices first class IT citizens. Through a combination of our web services APIs and our reporting database functionality, we can make a wealth of mobile device information visible in IT service management systems. So, instead of having a silo of information or standalone processes exclusive to mobile devices, we can tie in with the processes and systems that organizations are already using to run their IT services. Because Mobile Iron and ServiceNow are both leaders in our spaces, it is natural that we would have many customers in common. ServiceNow has very compelling IT service management tools. Our joint customers were asking how they could increase the depth of ServiceNow's mobile device knowledge through integration with Mobile Iron. Now, we could have simply handed our API documentation over to customers and let them figure out how to integrate the two solutions, but we felt this was another case where we should provide an integrated solution to our customers. So we decided to enhance our existing ServiceNow update set to make ServiceNow mobile aware by importing relevant mobile device information into ServiceNow's asset catalog. This then allows ServiceNow's already powerful asset management tools to now include mobile assets. So this includes flexibility and scheduled reporting, creating dashboards based on any mobile device data such as compliance status, pace of registration over time, and mobile operating system breakdowns. Unified reports for employees, desktops, laptops, and mobile devices. But Jack, this just isn't exclusively about reporting, right? That's right. This is also about asset management. Our new update set will also allow administrators to take actions on mobile devices without leaving the ServiceNow interface. So as a help desk agent, I can work in the tool that I'm already familiar with where my help desk cases get open. I can take a look in the asset management database where all of my assets are stored and take action right from there? Yes, that is a prime use case for the help desk. The ServiceNow administrator can take device actions on their own without logging into mobile iron. And those actions include lock, unlock, send message, retire, or even factory wipe. So in this case, the help desk agent can take care of a lot of the most common level one cases without having to escalate to the mobile iron administrator, and the security team can feel comfortable that they don't have to unnecessarily open up access to level one help desk agents. You've got it. Sounds great, let's take a look. So once I have all this information in here, I can see here on the screen I'm looking at now, mobile user ID, when the device was created, the status, name, manufacturer, uh, location if you want something like that. I can click on an individual device here and I can see some more details about the device, uh, the operating system, the OS version, uh, different uh, details about the device, uh, the version of the mobile iron client. Is it compliant or not? This one is. If it wasn't, you would see this box unchecked and you would see reasons for that device. Why is it non-compliant? Why is it blocked? Why is it quarantined? Um, and on top of that, not only the information about the device, but from in here, if this user were to call in and say, I'm having a problem, I locked my device, I can go in here as a ServiceNow administrator and take actions on these devices or this device without having to call the mobile iron uh, administrator. I can refresh the data for the device if I wanted to uh, check in now or get the information fresh now instead of waiting for the next polling period. I can lock the device, unlock the device in this use case we were talking about where the user couldn't remember their passcode, send the message, force a check-in, factory wipe, or retire all from when this in, within this interface. Now with any of these columns, I can then right-click because this is some of the power within this uh, ServiceNow uh, solution, is I can right-click here and I can create bar charts, pie charts, or any of the information. This is not something Mobile Iron added in. This is something that is inherent in ServiceNow that's very powerful, and just by adding our data into this uh, very compelling solution, then you can take advantage of all the other things that ServiceNow offers. So I'll give you an example here on my home screen of some of these charts I've already created. So here I have a breakdown of devices that have registered over time, uh, today, uh, two days ago, a month ago, so I can see the pace of devices registering within my system. I can see security information from a glance. Uh, which devices uh, have, the password, have a password that is compliant or not compliant? Uh, corporate versus employee-owned devices. Compromise versus non-compromise, meaning jailbroken or rooted. 
Um, the list goes on and on. A couple other examples. Um, my breakdown of mobile iron or models of devices in the mobile iron system. Mobile iron OS vers and version counts. So you get an idea of anything that we import in the system can be visualized at a glance on this home page with these different widgets that can be created and customized. And not only can I now just compare all of these things for my mobile fleet, I can get a complete picture of my entire IT environment, including my mobile devices. That's right. Uh, the po real power here, I think, is that you can combine reports. I can create a report for uh, users' laptop, desktop, uh, software, and mobile assets all within this system now. So on this page, I'm looking at all the different mobile iron reports that I've created. Uh, some of them are, say, are widgets, and some of them are actual reports that I have running on a schedule. So example, this one here, mobile iron devices in quarantine. I'm looking for devices that match these conditions, where quarantine equals true and the device is active. And for these devices, I want to see the following fields, owned by, the status, the user's name, manufacturer operating system, and so on. And I can order these any way I, I want to. So I can just choose to view this information in the GUI, or in my case, I have these emailed out to me every night. So I immediately get a report when I get up in the morning that shows these are all the devices that are quarantined in my system. And it shows me only the information I want. I don't see things that are outside of my interest. Uh, so I see things like, is the passcode compliant? And if it's quarantined, which all devices in this report are, why is it quarantined? Other things in here are the user's email addresses and names, so if I need to reach out to them, I can do so. So just to give you an idea of how easy it is to add additional fields here, what we're seeing here is the setup for just one uh, core to import information from. Now you can set up as many core or connected cloud instances as you want in here. There's no theoretical limit. Uh, so I just need to put in my API username and credentials and the fully qualified domain name of my core connected cloud instance. And it will automatically have filled in the default asset query fields that be, will be returned. But if I maybe don't want some of this information in here, such as I don't want to pull device locations, I can just delete them and they will not be pulled and imported into ServiceNow. But if I want to add something in here like um, Android, if there was such a, um, a field called Android device owner or whatever the field name is, I just add it here into the uh, list of comma separated fields. So as we talked about, here are the two scripts that pull information from core connected cloud on a schedule. This is the monthly. So it will grab everything once a month. Now you can change this to weekly or daily or what have you. It's not really necessary, but you can do so. And then we have the other script, which is the Delta script, which pulls only devices that have checked in within the last, in this case, the last hour, and it runs once an hour. If you want to change this to every two hours, if you want it, you would just change the script and change when it runs and update it. And now it will upgrade the Delta, uh, now it will download the deltas every two hours rather than one hour. This is totally customizable. So this overview shows you how you can import information from MobileIron into ServiceNow into their asset management database or CMDB without having to call the MobileIron administrator or to get login credentials to the MobileIron interface yourself. You don't have to leave ServiceNow for most of the help desk and ServiceNow administrative needs for mobile devices. Powerful stuff and easy to do. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Mm -hmm.